Is the coronavirus affecting your business? Look, there's some businesses out there right now that are thriving and there's some businesses that are really, really struggling. The tourism industry is falling apart and there's other industries like events and PR that are really, really struggling right now. This is a time to really think creative and put in some marketing strategies that can help your business survive through this difficult time. So today I thought I'd share with you our five top tips on helping you define your marketing strategy in this uncertain climate or this struggling economy. Now, if you're not looking at your customers' pain points, which most definitely have changed in this economy, then you're gonna miss the boat. This is time to really look at how you can help your customers and what they need right now. And look, toilet paper is probably not gonna help you. So my first tip is something that I say every single time is keep your brand and your marketing cutting edge. This is a time to reassess where your marketing spend is going and it's also reassessing what your customer needs right now, which obviously may have changed in this current climate. Let's look at different ways of spending the money, put them in different areas and remain agile and pivot when you need to. This is a really great time to get creative and think differently. Some examples of this would be, say you're in the tourism industry on the Gold Coast and all of your marketing spend at the moment is on international travel. That's not gonna work anymore. So how about you target people that don't have to travel like your locals? Another example is one of my clients makes chocolate and they're creating an isolation pack that they can deliver to your door and you can still buy their product. So they're actually custom creating a product for this environment. Perfect. Number two is, I've done a video on this one, it's have a look at your unique selling point. This might change in this market. What can you say to your customers that can really set yourself apart? Do not underestimate your unique selling point and connecting to your clients. Our third tip today is think content, content, content. If you're slow at the moment, this is a great time to start creating content. Get your blogs happening, get your videos cranking. This is an amazing time to do this. Now, it may seem a little bit backwards, but research has shown that creating a content marketing strategy is actually three times more effective than your direct marketing and it costs 62% less. It's a no-brainer. Now, the reason it's so effective is because it builds trust with your customers. Not only this, it also helps make you look like the authority in your field and you're providing education to your clients. It's a win-win for everyone. Our fourth tip is, have you considered influencer marketing? Right now, it's about a $10 billion industry. And look, with everyone in isolation at the moment, where do you think everyone's attention is at? Yep, you got it. It's on their phone, on social media. So this is a great time to leverage that social media and your influencers. Now, if you've got a product right now, it's easy. Just post it to the influencer and they can deliver it to their network. There's no risk involved in doing this and you're gonna leverage the opportunity right now to get in front of your audiences. There's never been a greater time to get brand awareness and deliver your product to an audience that is captured on their phones. Our fifth tip, and this is one I absolutely love, and that is video marketing. So look, if you're camera shy, it's, this is a great time to get over that. It's time to get in front of the camera, deliver value to your customers. In a time where we can't have physical or social interaction face to face, video is absolutely important in your interaction with your customers. And look, not all videos have to be professional like this one. You can get creative with your Instagram stories. It's a really great way of getting social interaction and getting that authenticity around behind the scenes stuff, really connecting with the audience. So don't underestimate the impact that an Instagram story can have on your business. So look, this is all I've really got for you today, guys. I really hope some of these tips are helpful. This is a great time and an opportunity for us to get creative. So please think about how you can connect with your audience and deliver value in this difficult economy. Thanks so much for watching. Please stay safe and I'll see you next video.